So in this section of notes, uh, we're talking about solving linear difference equations in order to be able to solve some problems that we set in the last section about the gambler's ruin problem. Now, I'm assuming you've read all the notes up to the point where this video is embedded. So I'm assuming you've read about how to solve a linear difference equation in the homogeneous case, and that you know that that is first by solving the characteristic equation to find the general solution, and second, by using the extra conditions to find the constants. And so this video, I'm assuming you've read up to there, and this video will be going through examples 4.1 and 4.2. So if you've read up to the point where examples 4.1 and 4.2 start, now let's look through those two examples. OK, so here's example 4.1. We have this equation to solve subject to these initial conditions. So let's start with step one. Step one is to find the general solution by solving the characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation, as you will have read, means replace the xn plus 2 with a lambda squared, the xn plus 1 with a lambda, and the xn just with 1. So we get lambda squared minus lambda minus 6 equals 0. And uh, that quadratic equation uh, factorizes, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's lambda minus 3 times lambda minus 2, which means we have two solutions. So uh, lambda plus 2, uh, which means we have two solutions, minus 2 and 3. And note that those are distinct solutions which means that the general solution to the linear difference equation is uh, xn equals a lots of minus 2 to the n plus b lots of 3 to the n, putting in those two values of lambda that we found from the characteristic equation. OK, uh, now part 2 is to use the initial conditions to find the values of a and b. So the condition x0 equals 3 gives us uh, x0 is, well, minus 2 to the 0 will just be 1, and 3 to the 0 will just be 1, so that will give us a plus b equals 3. And x1 will be minus 2a plus 3b, and that wants to be 4. Uh, so now we have uh, two simultaneous equations which we have to solve in whatever manner you prefer to solve simultaneous equations in. Um, I will take uh, two lots of equation 1, add it to equation 2 because uh, that will get rid of all the a's and that will give me uh, minus b equals minus 2. which means that b equals uh, 2. And then I will substitute uh, b equals 2 into the first equation uh, to get a plus 2 equals 3, which means a equals 1. And finally, putting it all together, the solution is xn equals a, which is 1, so that's just minus 2 to the n, uh, plus b, which is 2, lots of 3 to the n. That's minus 2 to the n, plus 2 lots of 3 to the n. OK, uh, for another example, uh, we can look at example 4.2. Example 4.2 is to solve this linear difference equation subject to those initial conditions. So again, we begin in the same way. We write down the characteristic equation. Where xn plus 2 becomes lambda squared. Plus 4xn plus 1 becomes plus 4 lambda. And plus 4xn becomes plus 4. And this factorizes as uh, it's lambda plus 2 squared. So we've got a repeated root. 
at lambda equals minus 2. So remember that there's a special rule that we have to follow when we have a repeated root, which is that the general solution is xn equals a plus bn lots of minus 2 to the n. That's the rule for if we have a repeated root, which we read earlier on. Okay, so that's our general solution, but now we want to find the specific solution by using the initial conditions. So the initial condition x0 equals 2 gives us x0 equals uh, a equals 2. Uh, so that gives us a straight away. And the condition x1 equals minus 6 gives us uh, uh, minus 2a uh, minus 2b equals 6. Uh, but we already know that a equals 2, uh, so that must mean that uh, b equals 1. By solving those simultaneous equations, and thus the solution is xn equals a, which is 2, plus b, which is 1, n, times minus 2 to the n. And that's the solution. So there's two examples of how to solve homogeneous linear difference equations.